Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and for those of you that have an iPad Pro or are considering an iPad Pro, I wanted to show you the top five apps that are currently available that take the best advantage of the pencil. So let's go ahead and turn the iPad on. And I have a bunch of apps installed, I've tried a bunch of different ones, and I've come up with my top five that I think work really well with the pencil. The first one is Procreate. Procreate is a professional grade app that is available for purchase for five to ten dollars depending on what their sale is going for and it's really worth it i paid about ten dollars for it and this app gets you about 90 to 95 percent of the way there then you can export it and put it into whatever your favorite editor is so what you have here is you can see i have some different variable uh, brushes that i've put down and you have a lot of different options so in the gallery here you can create a new image or whatever you want to do but in here, there's some really nice paintings that people have done already that they just kind of give you an idea. And they're very impressive. They've, they've been done on here, and I wanted to show you that. But you can modify these if you want. I don't want to really ruin it, but you see I just filled that in. And we'll undo. Let's go back, and we'll start a new one. So we'll go up here in this corner, and we've got a bunch of different options. So we'll just do retina for now. And it opens up a new blank canvas. So what we have is some options here. We've got this little wrench that gives us a bunch of different options for perspective guides and flip canvas, uh, all sorts of little things here. We've got some adjustments we can do. We've got an arrow for selecting, some other tools as well, and some brushes. We actually have a lot of brushes. We have sketching and inking and painting and artistic and airbrushing and texture. We have a smudge tool, an erase tool, extra layers. We can also change the color here, so if we want to bring it to maybe a blue, maybe like this, we'll stick with that one. We'll go back to brushes, and maybe we'll stick with what we have now. Well, we can duplicate this brush, we can share it, whatever we want to delete, do, delete it if we don't want it. See, it responds a little weird sometimes, but there we go. And let's get rid of that. So just like a real pencil, this pencil is pressure sensitive. And we just push a little bit. And we get a line. If I push a lot, you'll see it's really bold like you'd expect. Now it thought my palm did that line and it actually took the line off. So I put my palm down as great palm rejection, put the line down. There we go. Now over here we have some options as well, and this is nice. We've got a simple slider, and this gives us brush size, and this gives us brush opacity. So if we want 100%, we want a huge brush here. And let me show you the sensitivity of this. If we just take our hand, hold it like this, move this back and forth, we'll get really, really light texturing. But if I push it down here a little bit more, there we go, or go really light, just the more you push, the more you'll get out of it. So it's really nice, and it's a very, very nice tool. And again, I can add layers and different colors and all sorts of things. And then when I'm done, I can export it. So this is a really nice app worth checking out. And that's my number one app. The second app is Adobe Sketch. Now, this is a free app that is very similar and is a great drawing app. Here's some different images that are included with community sketches and you just simply log in with an Adobe ID, create one or you can skip it I believe and just use the app. So if I go back here I created this little box just to try out the perspective view. So you've got this little grid, hit the grid, turn it on and now we've got perspective so you can set that up however you want and then if you want to shade this later you can do that and you've got all sorts of different things you can do. So adjust whatever you want to do, you can do it. Over here we've got different types of pens. We've got pens or watercolor uh, real fine here. So if I go in here like this, that's what I drew this with. Uh, if I just go in here really light and shade, everything's really super sensitive. And this app along with the previous one, Procreate, are heavily updated all the time. In fact, when Procreate first came out, it was a little laggy when you first moved the pencil. It's no longer laggy. I think they've updated about three times, maybe even more, since it first came out with new features and fixes just to make it even better to use. So both of these apps have great support, the Adobe one and Procreate. We've got other options here as well. You've got 
images on my iPad, all sorts of things, the normal things you would expect, but this one isn't quite as intricate as Procreate is. The third app that seems to do really well with the pencil is Paper. Now, I'm not sure where I put it here. Let's find it. Oh, it was actually on the same screen. So Paper I really like. I was writing my name here. Uh, let's, let's create a new one. There we go. This is a free app, and it's really nice. It's very simple, and it's not exactly meant for this pencil. They made their own version of a pencil, but this works really well. So we've got kind of a calligraphy pen, a pencil, wide brush. We've got a brush or a marker, really, and a pen. So maybe we want to use black and just write in a pen, and I can say hi. Really simple, but if I switch to this calligraphy pen and say hi, you'll see it's very different. Now the more you press, kind of the, the fatter line you get, and you'll see there is a little bit of lag in this one. If you watch my pen or pencil here, it follows, I can get away from it too, and then it catches up. Uh, that's not too much of an issue in this particular app because most of this isn't going to be as intricate as the other. Now this one will do text though as well, so you can type in here if you want to and just say hi and you've got normal text and then you can we'll get rid of this here get rid of text if i can figure this out here we go hit done go back in and the high the word high is down in the bottom but anyway you'll get the idea you switch to brushes this is a brush the more i the more i use it you'll see it's watercolor it's really nice and it has great effects and this has been a great app even before the pencil came out and the iPad Pro. So you've got all these little tools here and I think those are uh, so far one of the better tools for it. I, I think one of my favorite things in here is actually this pen and just doing calligraphy with it kind of. So really nice if you want to do something like that. My fourth app is actually Pixelmator. Pixelmator is a $5 app that goes across to all platforms, your iPhone, your iPad and even your Mac if you buy it there you can have a separate version and it's an alternative to Photoshop that I've been using for years it's a great alternative because on the Mac it's about fifteen dollars here it's only about five dollars so if I go into a blank landscape picture here we can create with the pen and if we go to brushes we can do paint and erase we just got a standard brush and it's just as accurate as any other app on the iPad Pro with the pencil but the nice thing is this is pretty much a full-blown Photoshop replacement. Now it's not going to have every little pro app that or pro feature that it does, but you can have guides and things like that. You can go to paint, retouch, distort, adjust colors. So if you have a photo, you can adjust colors. Uh, we can add images to it. You can see it's pulling from moments here. Let me grab this is a little picture of Android. And then we can resize it in here, move it around. You've got the little centering grid lines. That's nice as well. And then what we can do is, let's go back over here, retouch. And under retouch, we have all of these different options. So we can saturate, desaturate, sharpen, soften, anything you'd kind of expect from a pretty basic Photoshop type application. Now, this is more advanced on a Mac, but maybe we want to get rid of this right there. We just highlighted it and got rid of it. So that's really nice. Maybe we want to get rid of this line highlight get rid of it get rid of the Android here highlight and get rid of it so it's a really nice app and it works really really well to retouch photos or draw or whatever you want to do add text you can do all of that right here on the iPad and then you can export it if you want to to your Mac and touch it up even more if you want to with more advanced features but you've got that right here for only about five dollars so I think that's a pretty nice app to use with the pencil as well. The final app actually comes right along with it. It works so well I figured I had to recommend it and that's Notes. This is for note taking or you can draw with it. Now I just drew a quick little fireplace with it and it works incredibly well. And one of the things I like most about it is this little ruler you get here. So you've got this ruler that you can move around. So if you want to use this ruler you can adjust the angle so you can see maybe I want it at 45 degrees if you wanted it 90, it snaps at 45 and 90, and then these are adjustable any way you want. And then say I want to put a line over here, 
we just hold it, let go, and put the line right there. Move this away, and it's a nice line. And it darkened depending on where the pressure was. So it's a little lighter here. It gets darker, lighter, darker. Let me show you that with a marker this time. And we'll change the color. We'll use green just so you can see it better. We'll just go top to bottom. You can see how it's getting darker and darker as I go over it. We'll move it away, but you've still got a perfect line there. And then I can just undo it if I want. And we're back to normal. I'll create a new one here, and what we can do is take actual notes with the keyboard. But if we want to use the pencil, we can hit this little button here and scribble with it. So I want to go black pencil right here, and then we can just take notes. And we can rotate it like this and write if we want like this or like this. It doesn't rotate when you're using it. So I can just say, hi, how are you? And my handwriting is terrible there, you can see. But it works really well. And if I wanted to do simple notes and keep track of things, I could do that. So I could say, hello, really small right there. And I open that by accident. And then I could say, hi, again, right here. And it's really more for drawing and doing that sort of notes, but it really does work, and it works well. This is an eraser tool. Unfortunately, you can't erase with this, but you can erase like that. And the erase tool just got bigger as I tilted it sideways. So let me show you that one more time. So sideways, if I push, it's a large eraser. Up and down, small eraser. So really nice. It's really, really latency free. There's not any lag really whatsoever when you're drawing with this. And it's really impressive. And if I use a pen, it's even better. If I say hi, I can get really small in there. And then I can just expand it with my fingers if I need to and take a look at it a little bit further. So that's a nice free app that's included with the iPad Pro. But so far, that's about it as far as the best apps that take best advantage of the pencil. It works with just about anything in here but that seems to work best within those particular apps. If there's any apps you think I left out or you think might be a little bit better for specific needs, let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.